dividing polynomials by monomials. All right, so as you can see, we have a polynomial in the numerator divided by a monomial in the denominator. Now this is just a constant. We're gonna do an example in just a second where we have x's involved as well. <clears throat> so when you're dividing by a single term like this, a monomial, I think the easiest way to do this is simply split this apart. Make it each term from the numerator divided by the term from the denominator. All right, so I've taken the denominator, that monomial, and put a copy with each term from the numerator. And this will be equal to the previous version of it. Now you've seen the same exact thing going on where you get the common denominator and then you put these all together into a single fraction over the common denominator. It's using that same technique in reverse. From here, we can deal with each fraction individually. So in this case, we have six divided by three. We can say that's the same thing as two bring along the x squared, still think of that as being in the numerator. 12 divided by three is gonna make a four, bring along the x, and three divided by three makes a one. All right, so pretty simple process. Let's move on to one where we have x cubed, or four x cubed in the denominator. So the same idea, we're gonna get started here by saying three individual fractions here. So eight x to the fifth divided by four, x cubed, sorry, minus x cubed, divided by four x cubed plus two x divided by four x cubed. So take a copy from each term in the numerator or from the denominator, this four x cubed, split it up, put a copy with each term from the numerator. Now it's our process, we need to simplify it out. So on this first one, we can say eight divided by four makes two. Now we have to think about this x to the fifth divided by x cubed. Since we have x's in numerator and denominator, off to the side here, Initially, I may like to think about this as one, two, three, four, five copies of X over one, two, three copies of X from the denominator. So in my head, what I like to do is ask myself the question, where do we have more copies of X and how many more? So in this case, with each pair that you can pair up, numerator and denominator, those each make a one. So as it works out, we have five copies of X over three copies of X. We're gonna have two more copies in the numerator. So we're gonna be left with an x squared in the numerator. Next up, we did, can't simplify down the one out in front here divided by four. So I'm just gonna leave the four in the denominator. Imagine there to be a one in the numerator. Now our x cubed over x cubed, we have the same number, numerator and denominator. So these get to cancel out or create a one. So we are left with one fourth for this fraction and reducing down. And then finally, when we have two divided by four, that's gonna make a two in the denominator or a one half. With the x's, we have more copies of x in the denominator. And how many more? Well, we have two more, right? Two, uh, we have one here and three in the denominator. So that's gonna leave us with an x squared in the denominator. So when we get done, we have two x squared minus one fourth plus one over two x squared. So kind of split these up and then take it one little fraction at a time and reducing down. Hope this helps out on dividing by monomials. Good luck with it.